Hi, I'm Terry with Prepped and Polished in South Natick, Massachusetts. Thanks for joining us today. You know, pacing is a challenge for most students on the SSAT reading test. 40 questions to answer in 40 minutes for the middle and upper levels. However, the ability to recognize and to strategically solve specific types of questions on the reading test is a definite time saver and helps to get a good score. Knowing what to, what to expect is half the battle when it comes to earning top scores. So today, I'm going to show you how to recognize and how to approach detail and specific questions on the SSAT reading test. Let's take a look at what they look like. Here's some tips on how to recognize detail or specific questions. So detail or specific questions are straightforward. They ask for specific facts or references from the passage. And they use words like according to the passage or according to the article, according to the author. Uh, the author or passage states that. The author believes. It could say in line 10, the author compares pollution to. Or in line 13, the word relinquish means. Or it could be a question like, which of the following questions is answered in the passage? Some key words to just be on the lookout for, according to, states, believes, mentions, describes, examples. Now I'd like to show you some tips on how to approach detail or specific questions that will really help you. So first you want to skim when you're looking for answers for specific questions. Remember, don't read every word. You have already done that when you read the passage the first time. This one's very important. You want to use elimination or ruling out, I call it. You want to cross out incorrect answers that are obvious right away. It really helps to narrow down your choices. You know, think of it as a treasure hunt. You're a detective finding clues to solve a case back in the passage. This one's really important. You should be able to locate and underline the correct answer restated or paraphrased in the passage. If you can't do that, then you haven't found the answer yet, and keep looking. You definitely want to use line or paragraph references to help you locate relevant information. And remember that you know, you'll, you'll need the context around those lines for the right answer. You have to read more of the paragraph to get the right answer. Here's a key strategy for you. You want to research the details by relating facts and figures and names in the question to a specific paragraph. So use words that stand out in the question and in the passage. For example, names, places, and long words, they're easy to find in the passage. They're called lead words because they lead you back to the right place in the passage. And if you use all these strategies, it'll be much easier to find the right answer for detail-specific questions. Now I'm going to show you an actual example of an SSAT reading test detail question and how the strategies can work for you. So the question is, according to the passage, too little reverberation in a concert hall can result in. Now, According to the passage is a clue that it's going to be a detail or specific question. And I underlined too little reverberation. Those are lead words. I'm going to try to see if that can help me in the passage to find the answer. And here's the choices. A rapid increase in the volume of sound, that's choice A. B, the blurring of details in a piece of music. C, a quiet an insubstantial quality of sound, D, confusion among a listening audience, E, an inaccurate estimate of its reverberation time. Now, I couldn't put the whole passage up here, but in the passage, lines 16 through 18, it said, too little reverberation can make music sound thin and weak. 
Too much can blur the listener's sense of where one note stops and the next begins. Well, here's those same words, too little reverberation, and it says it can make music sound thin and weak. Choice C says that too little reverberation in a concert hall can result in a quiet and insubstantial quality of sound. So that is the answer, choice C. And that's how the strategy can work for you. For most detailed questions, you won't remember the answer from the first reading of the passage. Many of my students don't go back to find answers to specific questions in the passage. Consequently, they often get easy questions incorrect. Remember that specific or detailed questions can often be easier than main idea or inference questions because you're pinpointing the answer directly in the passage. I hope you'll use these strategies when you take the SSAT reading test. They really work. If you enjoyed these tips today, give us a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel. If you have any questions or you want more in-depth tutoring, either online or in person, simply email info at preppedandpolished.com and we'll be glad to help you. Good luck.